Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we'll start learning about Angular Router. Rarely you'll find applications like real-time dynamic applications which doesn't use routing. Right? It is totally practically possible to build Angular applications without any routing. It's practically possible. Uh, technically, it's a single page application, which means you can build an application without any routes. But if you talk about any real time application, at least uh, the apps that I have seen in large enterprise applications, you'll rarely have any application which does not use routing. So we'll learn about it. Um, we'll learn all about it because it's an extremely important thing because it plays a very, very vital role in the entire application stitching of the components, the modules, how the your application renders views, how it navigates, how the data is securely passed, and much, much more. So routing is the backbone of any solid application. Let's get started. This is part 34 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Uh, I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series. Uh, once we complete the Angular Router mini series, we will start with our live application. I'm so looking forward for that building live application with you. So make sure that you check out the description box, which has all the links to the tutorials as well as to the GitHub notes. So following are the topics which I've already covered in detail along with notes. Uh, so make sure that you check out all the previous episodes in the series so that you have continuity in your learning. Also, if you have any doubts in these particular tutorial notes or any topic, please do uh, ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. The list is increasing uh, which e with each passing day and today we are on episode number 34. We are starting with Angular Router. So let's talk a little bit about the background and why it's needed, how Angular supports it. Right. So what is routing? Routing is a mechanism used by Angular framework to manage the path and the routes of our Angular application. Right. So what does route? Uh, the URLs that you see in application, right? Like myapplication.com slash home slash dashboard slash profile. Uh, those are all the routes or the URLs that we have in our applications. Now, Angular provides us with routing strategies, right, uh, which helps us to move or switch between different views and templates. For example, if you are in one single component, it has a particular route and it will allow, we can configure to go to some other component easily, right? So that is the routing strategies that we can set up that is switching between the different views or components or different modules. Angular framework comes with a module called router, right? So that's the core, that's the back backbone of uh, the entire routing uh, mechanism in Angular. It's available, the package is available under at the rate Angular slash router, right? That's what we will be using heavily. Now router is a singleton, which means that there will only be one instance of the router in our Angular application. So this is something that is often asked in your um, interview questions that is router singleton service? What is it? Uh, how do you inject? So yes, router is a singleton, which means that there can only be one instance of the router in our Angular application. All right, so let's continue some more uh, understanding of it. So like I said, Angular router is the official router module, right? Which is maintained by the core Angular team and is bundled along with the Angular installation. So if you select uh, the Angular application and you selected it with set up the app routing, you should see that you already have an app routing file, which is using at the rate Angular slash router. Now we need to set up the routes array, right? So let me show you that first in the code so that way it would be easy. So if you see your app module file and if you selected that you want to generate a new application, you would see it will ask you that do you want to set up routing if you selected yes you would see this file created automatically right so this is a module right this is just a simple module just like any other module its name is by default app routing module once you navigate you would see that it's using at the rate angular slash router right this is the important this is the module that i was talking about that we will be heavily using and if you see, we create an array of routes, right? Which we export basically. 
right so we create a routes array which is what we are passing here and we are saying router module dot for root that means it's available throughout the application okay and we are creating the routes so we define all our routes here okay so once we will do that start doing it very soon so don't worry if you don't understand some concept today uh, it doesn't matter just understand that we will create all our routes here right we will create all our routes here okay and we will export them which will be available throughout our application for use and this class is what we imported in app module right now is it should be of the same name no it can be any name you want okay but by default it is app routing module okay all right uh, we'll, we'll learn about it once we start doing practical so just go through the notes understand the theory understand the foundation understand the fundamentals the router has states now what is state uh, it's a different um, way to get information about the current state and the active state etc or the data related to it like for example you have activated routes um, you know so routes state so you can inject that and get that information now everything that you need to work with router is already included in this module right for example you need to get data related to a route you need to get the query params you need to get the url uh, segments you want to watch for changes right on a route um, on load on so those are all included in the router module so what i'm trying to tell you here is if you understand if you want to really understand and master angular routing this is a package that you need to understand explore and practice right so that is angular router i will help you with that so we will start doing practical i will tell you one by one how to go each step by step first we have to learn the different use cases right first we have to learn about different use cases of routes now here you see i have listed down all the possible uh, routing combination that can be used right of course there can be many more this is, list is not the uh, ultimate list it will keep growing as we progress in the series now you have routes for components right we have uh, we can get query params from routes we can get url params url segments from the route we can have uh, child routes that we can load from a module we have lazy loading right that we can use to kind of optimize and improve the performance of our angular applications we can have wildcard routes we can have default routes we can have 404 routes and we can also use auth guards route guards so that you protect the secure pages etc so we are going to learn all of this um, in angular step by step routing uh, these are all the possible things that are there that we have to use okay so now i think you get an idea about routing um, we'll learn about it let me give you some examples of how this routing looks like so if you have to talk about components right so let's say i have my application which says my application.com slash so this is my main home page right this is my home page and then let's copy this now I will say I have a component by the name profile so I'll call it here profile see so this route is for this component if I have one more component called users so I can have it here and say slash users right okay and this is another component right so now we can have child routes for example i can say view user i can say user slash 10 that means get the user view the details of the user whose id is 10 right similarly so see this these are all child routes now inside view users now i can say edit user um, add user manage user so you see the path is all changing for each of it right so here you can say edit slash 10 or you can say view slash 10 right so you see it's all users and followed by the child routes right so this you can also say this is a module right so users is a module inside that you have child routes right now an example of 
uh, query params, right? So we'll look something like this. So if you have your URL like this, you can say, you can say a slash search question mark user equal to 10 or say ABC by name, right? So you're searching here. You see these are query params. Now, if you want to get something like say tasks, right? URL segment I'm saying now. Now let's see URL segment example. So here you have this example. So you can say uh, tasks slash 10 slash um, category slash uh, pending, right? So you see, these are the URL segments. This is query param. This is component. This is module, right? So these are, they see, this is direct route. So this is an example of component routing. This is an example of query params. This is an example of URL patterns or URL segments, right? This is an example of module, the module. These are the examples of child routes, right? So see, you're slowly, now you understand how your application's architecture looks like. Now you can clearly relate that what are the different types of routes that you can use. Now you can also say in your application, page not found. And here you will say, what should happen when there is no matching route. So you'll say page not found, right? So here you can say page not found. So this is an example of 404 error, right? Like page not found, right? If what if it, there are no routes, that means no matching routes. I'm saying by default, it should go to here. So you can say this is my default route. Right. So see this, this is how any applications routes will look like open up any application. You will see the same structure. Okay. Now there is no other way application routes or design routing mechanism is done. Right. So if you understand this concept, you can design routing mechanism or your strategies for any application you want. Right. That's what we learned in this episode. In the next uh, episode onwards, we'll start building first, whatever we saw here, we will start doing the same here, right? We will use, we'll start building routes for components, right? That's what we are going to do in the next episode. And slow, slowly we'll start building each of this that we just learned, right? And that's the only way to learn because by practice we we'll, can learn. Otherwise theory is good, but coding is where is the fun is, all right? So join me in the next episode where we'll learn about routing for components. Thank you so much for joining. If you like my work and tutorials, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials. Thank you so much. I look forward to for you to join me in the next episode where we'll learn about component routes. Thank you so much.